We have new developments this morning on a meeting that President Donald Trump's son, Donald Trump Jr., held with a Russian attorney who claimed to have information that was damaging to Hillary Clinton. New report published late last night by the New York Times says Trump Jr. knew before that meeting that the information was part of the Russian government's effort to support his father's campaign. Brian Yacono, live in the newsroom with more. Well, good morning. Senator Jack Reed says that Donald Trump Jr. keeps changing his story and that he should testify before the Senate Intelligence Committee to set the record straight. Trump Jr., by the way, says he is willing to work with the committee. The York Times right now, citing three people who claim to have knowledge of that email sent to Trump Jr., stating that the Russian government was behind the so-called damaging information about Hillary Clinton. Trump Jr. says he met with a Russian lawyer at the request of an acquaintance with family ties to the Trump businesses. And the meeting was organized by music publicist Rob Goldstone. Trump Jr. this weekend first said the meeting was about laws surrounding Russian adoptions. It was only after the Times brought up additional information that Trump Jr. revealed the meeting was made expecting to receive information about Hillary Clinton. The idea that somehow you would bring in the campaign manager and the president's son-in-law uh, for some meeting that was supposed to be about Russian immigration, I, I believe they may have already changed that story from this morning. Uh, but again, this pattern is information comes out that they constantly recant and change their stories is, I think, very troubling. The only thing I see inappropriate about the meeting was the people that leaked the information on the meeting after it was voluntarily disclosed. Trump Jr. also says there was no inconsistency in his statements from this weekend. He says as he was asked more questions, he provided more details. I'm in the newsroom, Brian Yacono, Eyewitness News.